Good hey guys. afternoon, guys. What's going on? Here, we, here we are. Um, welcome. 2020. We made it. We made it, guys. We made it. 2020. <laughs> we want to thank you guys uh, for a great 2019. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, we could have done it without you guys. No, no, that, that, that's always kind of been our strong point is that, you know, the customer backing is all we, what we've always had. And we have a great customer you know, backing. Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, 2019 was a great year um, uh, for us, as he said. Um, and here we are going to, we're going to keep moving forward with it, you know, with what we've been doing. Um, obviously, and what have we been doing, what have we been concentrating on? It's, it's mainly making sure that you guys are taken care of as quickly as possible, no matter what it comes down to, whether it's uh, ordering your part and getting it as soon as possible, or if... Uh, just an information information yeah you know, you know if anything happens you know we always want to make sure we're always covered and we got everything going so 2019 i think we did a great job doing it but there's always room for improvement right Jason? always room I mean, oh I there's mean, always I, room I, I and that's the thing is room. we're always trying to come up with better ways to improve mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. everything shopping experience information that we give you guys yeah um, definitely definitely the products that we're coming out with exactly so 2020 is going to be uh, another good year for us i mean we're going to shoot for it uh, we're going to provide you guys with a lot more information as far as videos are concerned um and and stuff like that so we wanted to kind of come to you guys today first of all to say welcome you know obviously if you guys are tuned in you're watching us here uh, we got a lot of things going on and we also wanted your feedback and that's kind of why he's, he's got you pulled up right there so if you guys have any questions or comments i mean go ahead and jump in and uh, we'll we'll answer them as we go along Yes. Um, go ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. No, go, no, I go was ahead. gonna say some of the things that we want to know is like how can we better improve your your experience mm -hmm. as well, you know, uh, yeah. with products, obviously, you know, because that's what we're all here for, right? We all we're all modders and we want to mod our Camaros and mm -hmm. we want them to look good. We want them to go fast and we want to be right. reliable at the same time. That's right. Quality is a, is number one when it comes down to that, basically, guys. Definitely. So um, definitely, these are the things that we're. Uh, we want to hear back from you guys. Definitely, and going along with, with the quality and, and everything we kind of put out there and do for you guys, um, it, it all relays back to the products. You know, so whether, whether it's a, you know, a new product coming out or something maybe we don't have our hands on yet, um, but that's where we're kind of going for, for 2020 is, is in, on my list here, I have uh, new products, which kind of roll into accessories, performance, styling wheels. If there's something that maybe we could work better on, go ahead and let us know. We'll go ahead and make sure to jot that down and make a note of it. Yeah, I mean, if it's anything, and if we don't have it, yeah, we definitely too. want you to tell us about it because um, there are so many products constantly coming out or mm -hmm. products in the market that we don't know about. And it's one of the things mm -hmm. we want to look into to make sure that... Uh, if, we, if we're not producing it ourselves, it's something that one of our manufacturers want to know as well, because we do a lot of feedback with the yeah. manufacturers based on what y'all tell us. Yeah. Even down to something like the exhaust systems, like we work directly, we were able, and we were lucky to work with, directly with companies like AWE on their mm -hmm. exhaust systems. Yeah. Where yeah. it worked directly with MBRP on developing the exhaust systems for the right. Camaro. We've, we've given them the feedback on, on essentially everything that we've kind of come across and what we think they should do. Um, for, for all you guys, you know, you, you guys with the single tips, you guys with the dual tips, yep. the, the manual transmissions, the automatic transmissions, all you guys. Everything we've kind of gotten from you, we've given to them so that way they know exactly what um, you guys might be looking for. Right, and you know, other things too, like we were able to work on this year, which was good, was we'll go back to like the 16 through basically 20 Camaros if you had an automatic. You know, one of the bad things about it is like some of these exhaust manufacturers only produce something for a manual. So you guys yeah. with the AFM valves, you're kind of yeah. like, well, you know, we want that exhaust system too, but we can't have a full cat back. But we worked with companies like Trifecta Tuning mm -hmm. to offer the ability to turn off the AFM with their tunes. And what's yeah. nice about that, then we'd like, what do your customers want? Let me tell you what you guys want. You want to be able to get a tune, mm -hmm. and if you want to do updates to it, you're not getting charged every time for something like that. And that was something exactly. we were able to do with Trifecta just because of the feedback that we get from you guys. Exactly. So thank you very much for that. Exactly. Some of those, some of those easy tunes like Trifecta is one of the easy, easier companies, in my opinion, to work with because getting the tune, you want to make sure it's dialed in right. So yeah, there might be some data logging that goes back and forth, but you want to make sure that tune is dialed into your car, right? Mm -hmm. You got it for your car. So Trifecta will, might take a little time and get it done, dial it in perfectly. Well, once they send that tune update back, you're going to be happy with it. And like he said, it's, it's a very simple, very easy thing that to, to get that tune upload it and be done yeah you know, it's one of those things so that's one of the things we worked on with them um let's see uh, another brand though for the tail light covers that we recently added oh the tail light really tail covers they've kind of been around a while they have but but we when we first got them what, about a year we ago? got their first round of development and we didn't feel like it was going to fit the it we didn't we, there was a little, couple little flaws in it that mm -hmm. we didn't want to push out to you guys just for some effects like there's little things that we didn't like yeah we know you're not going to like them right Right, so. exactly. So we kind of had them go back to the drawing board, fix a couple of things, and then here we are. Lo and behold, as you guys might have seen, they, they've been around and they fit these cars perfectly, the 16 to 18 cars, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, 
we'll, we'll go from there. So that's some of the new products and stuff we're working on. Um, obviously, more accessories. I know you guys like your accessories. You know, uh, what kind of classifies as accessories to you, Jason? I mean, there, okay, so there's a lot of things that can be considered accessories, depending on how you look at it. I mean, mm -hmm. like interior knobs, that's an accessory. Right. Uh, a license plate uh, frame, that's an accessory. Right. Um, and I mean, because those are like you know, those those are something you're gonna you can mm -hmm. you you see more than you do anything. So they're small accessories. Uh, other accessories, the Novi stretch, that's an accessory. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Flo floor Stuff mats. Like floor mats. Some people would consider that accessory. It's I can look at it two different ways. It's definitely something that it's going to add as styling, but it's also usable. Yeah. So it yeah. all depends yeah, on how exactly. you look at the products. Well, depends because parts. you have the different brands that do their different ways. You have exactly. Lloyd's mats yeah. that that is more of a to me I, it's, it's more of an accessory. It's, a, it's an accessory. It's, a style. It's, it's more styling. Versus you know, a husky. It, versus a husky, exactly. So some of you guys that that are maybe in the northeast, you know, you're dealing with the snow. You might go with more of the husky or WeatherTech. Yeah. Right? You might go with one of those brands. But some of you guys that might live out in California, down in Florida, maybe some parts of Texas, you'd probably go more with the Lloyd's mats because, hey, you're going to stay clean most of the time. You know, I know right now here in Houston, it's kind of raining it's right It's raining now, right but, now, so it's horrible. But it's ugly. Not a big, you know, but it's one of those things that you can always kind of switch yeah. out. Yeah, but what mats do you have in your car? Mine, I think, uh, I think I'm going to put the, uh, the Husky in them. I, I like the Husky. Yet. And that's the other thing, too, guys. Look, coming into 2020, we want to know if you are deciding between what brand to go with, mm -hmm. Let us know because that's something we can put together like a comparison video. Right. Like for instance, if you look at the video we did what two weeks ago, Ricardo put a great video together of the exhaust systems. Yeah. What, what do you that represent? Was, like four different exhaust systems. Those four there? different exhaust systems. I know we have a bunch of old footage that that probably has been hanging around for years, and so that's why you'll see the coming kind of camera differences that we've kind of the different cameras we've gone through. Different quality. So, yeah, different quality. Um, so we hey, we've progressed, right? So I mean, we've done a good job with with getting all that footage for you guys, and you guys have given us good feedback on that. So. So I know that 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 video. See, it was about a week ago, right? It's like two weeks ago. Two weeks I think ago, it was like two weeks, weeks ago. And it's got a lot of views, and we want to thank you guys for that. Yeah. But if you haven't seen it already, and you're looking at like what comparison video we're yeah. talking about, we can put a link down in the comments when we're finished here, and you yeah. can go back and look at it. But yeah. it definitely gave you the, the exhaust difference between like Stainless Works, MBRP, mm -hmm. AWE, yeah. and Borla. Uh, uh, yeah, Borla. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. So um, it was a great video. Ricardo, you did a great job putting that video yeah. together for people. So I mean, it's for them. Yeah, exactly. And that's the other thing too. Like if there's products that you're, you have questions about, Hey, yeah. for 2020, we want to know, we want to know what you're looking for. Yeah. And you can, and you can let us know either, either way you can contact us directly through our Facebook messenger, mm -hmm. our fast tech and we, and that's stuff that we'll look into. Okay. Let's put something together for this. Yeah. You know, maybe even if you're on the website at night, let's say, let's say we're all kind of shut down. Cause yeah. let's, let's be honest. We all have families. We all kind of shut down at night. But even if you're on the website at night, maybe you're lying in bed, you're trolling through, there's a little, little icon down at the bottom that might pop up for you. That's called a, it's a, oh, what's the name of uh, it, it? It looks like a little face. Oh, what's that? Oh, 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 oh it's, our, it's our hot jar. It, it's a hot jar. It, it, it's one of those things that we want to know, like if you come across yeah. a certain page, if you like something, don't like something, it lets us know, like, it lets us know what, you know, gives us an idea of like, What's what do you feel on? about like, it for the most part? So you can also leave, you know, the little comments in there and these guys will patch it over to us. So that way we're all kind of in the same loop and we get that same information that you guys may be um, curious about. But like you said, you know, the, the, the video stuff that you guys might want to know, I mean, if there's something that we can kind of help improve on, maybe there's an old video that we have out there that maybe could use a refresher. I know we are going to visit, go back and visit some of the other ones that we've done. Um, some of the simple ones, you know, like a, like a Novi stretch or something like that, you know, that's something simple to kind of go back and visit, revisit. Yeah. Um, even the more difficult ones, honestly, I mean, whatever it's going to take to get you guys a little more interested in it, um, we're game for it. Yeah. Hey, I want to go through and say a hello to Ben. Hey, Ben, how you doing, man? Ben's been a long time customer friend. Ben, Ben's been around. Um, local guys, uh, definitely moved along through the different Camaros, him and his wife, Linda. Yeah. Valentino, yeah. I want to say hi to you. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Gene, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Happy New Year, man. Uh, Tim, Tim has thrown down a couple good comments, like okay. maybe on YouTube, buff that up, but otherwise everything, hey, thanks, Tim. Everything's all right, great. All right, so more, Appreciate more that. YouTube. And that's the other thing, you know, we want to make sure that you're, you, you kind of stay tuned to your channels. You know, I, I, we understand that, hey, we're here on Facebook, yes, but you all have, everyone's got their own channel. Uh, Jason might watch more YouTube than he does Facebook. I might watch more, more Facebook than I do YouTube. Yeah. So everyone's got their own little channel. So if we can improve anywhere all across our channels is what we're going for. But if there's something specific you kind of see, definitely toss it our way. I'm going to make a note here. Was that Tim? Tim? Tim, yeah. And Tim, Tim he's throwing a lot of good stuff. You know, how-to videos, product demonstrations. Okay. Uh, maybe interview with some manufacturers as well. Perfect. You know, these are the feedback that we need. Like, if you like the video that we've done with the manufacturer, like, 
let us know in the comments because at the same time, it's like the feedback that we get from you guys mm -hmm. is the feedback that lets us know, is this working for you guys? Is this the yep. stuff you want to see? Because, you know, it, with, amongst our internal marketing team, we, we ask these questions among each other. Well, how do we think this video went? Mm -hmm. You know, like we've had MBRP here before. I think we've had Flowmaster here had before. Flowmaster. Um, uh, and if, you, if there's a particular hmm. manufacturer you want to speak with, if you don't understand some of the product they offer, let us know because that's the stuff that we need for feedback, guys. Yeah, yeah. So. One, one thing I know we kind of get a lot of uh, a lot of questions on are, are, are some of the the horsepower items. Um, like we'll take a cam for example. Yeah. Cams, there's a whole lot that goes into that. So something that you know we might work on. Uh, you know, I'm going to make a note here. Something we might work on is maybe getting the cam manufacturer lined up. So that way we can kind of go through the process of hey, developing the cam how it's made, you know, what, what are the steps they kind of take and, that's a great and, idea. and everything that kind of goes through there. So, so that's something that, you know, we're kind of looking for. See, you guys spit the ideas. And yeah. Cause just, there's a lot of black growing. magic. People think that goes into camshafts when really, mm -hmm. if there's that's a lot of questions you should be asking, it's like, what's the longevity of this camshaft? You know, how's it going to affect my drive training? What's my, what's my, uh, yeah. everyday driving experience going to be with something like that? Perfect example. You, you know, know, you got your everyday drivers that you want a cam, you want that sound, but you want it to still drive. Well, there's a lot of factors that kind of go into it. So you have to compensate in certain places to, to find out, do I make this much power? But the drivability kind of goes this way. Drivability goes up, power goes down. So it's one of those things that where you kind of play with. So you, until you find that median that, uh, that works for you. Hey, Gabe, how you doing, buddy? MBRP or AW, fifth gen, dual, dual tip? Eh, it's hard, man. You know, it, it, that's a hard one. Um, I kind of like, I like both of them. You know, MBRP has options, AW has options, so it uh -huh. depends on which one you go with. You want to go with like the MBRP. Now a lot of people don't know that, you know, they have their Heimholtz resonator built mm -hmm. in, but they also have another kit that has a muffler built into it as well right. to kind of help muffle that down if you don't want that full on raspy sound, you yeah. know, so. Uh, yeah. AW has a lot of great, they have their, where well, they have their they touring, have their track and they the have touring. the track, yeah, so. So, so it really kind of depends on where you want to go with sound on that to kind of, to kind of, you know, jump in and help Jason yeah. that one out a little bit. It, it really kind of depends on how you want it, the car to sound. MB, MBRP and AWE fitments and quality, perfect. Okay, I'm not, not, not going anywhere there. But if you want to, if you want something that's going to sound a little more raw, then I'd probably say MBRP. If you want something that's going to be a little cleaner sounding, I'd probably say AWE. Yeah. You know, but again, it just depends on the, the track mode on AWE might sound similar to the MBRP. So it, it just depends on where you want to go from there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nicole brought up a good example here. Uh, also include warranty information in our demos. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes total sense. That that's, if we're leaving that out, thank you for letting us know because that is stuff that definitely people want to know. Um, when they're purchasing, because there are different warranties for different products. Mm -hmm. um, Every manufacturer has a, has a different step, has a different process. You'd be surprised how many warranty steps there actually kind of are that, yeah. that these guys have to go through to make sure you guys are taken care of. Um, and, and we're willing to jump through the hoops as much as we can. Yeah, like um, GM, perfect example. Like a yes. GM product, they want your VIN number sometimes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's- It's an odd request, but yeah. It's, yeah, because <laughs> they, you know, why. something like, a, like you take like a manufacturer like GM and they're gonna put it towards their three year, 36,000 mile mm -hmm. warranty situation, yeah. even though, it, you know, so they might say, well, this has a certain amount of warranty, but they want to log your VIN number at the same time to do a warranty on some things. I know it sounds crazy, but that is a main, that's a main that's manufacturer yeah. like those guys. So yeah. thank uh, you for that. They have warranty information. Got that one down there. Other than that guys, I mean, that's, you know, we, that's just kind of the stuff really we want to thank you for 2019 and we're mm -hmm. looking forward to 2020 with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and we just want to make sure that we're able to give you all the information you need and stuff that you're looking for. Um, even down to our customer support. If there's something yeah. like you don't like about our customer support, which you know, know. sometimes that can get a little taxing as well, going mm -hmm. back and forth and trying to solve problems. And at the same time, we feel the same way on our end, but um, it's all part of it yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it's like the warranty information. There, there can be so many things that you kind of have to do and take care of to make sure that things are in line. So you want to make sure that these guys want to make sure that they have your full information, you know, whether whether it comes down to, to a simple bulb replacement or maybe even a God forbid, you know, a lost package. You know, that's the last thing we really Ugh. want to go through. Those are the most stressful ones yeah. that they have to deal with. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they can just take a long time to get done. Yeah. But I mean, they do the best job they can. Unfortunately, sometimes it just takes some time. Yeah. You know, but we appreciate you guys for understanding. You know, most for for as many people you guys, you know, come in here, you shop around, you call, everything that goes from there, all the emails you guys go through. Uh, I mean, you guys do a great job. Uh, you know, as far as understanding what we have to go through sometimes yeah because we're here for you guys exactly. believe it or not we are we really are here and exactly. our guys on the phones they're here for you too so we want to exactly. try to make the best experiences we can for you exactly. so if we're not let us know exactly. um don easy headlight drl kits 
Easy headlight. Is there an easy Dero headlight kit? Well, Dino uh, Dynamics. Uh, well, I'm, assu I'm assuming that's what she's talking about. Is the Halo? Him. It's, it's, yeah. Oh, him. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the Halo. The 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 easiest one. I'm assuming you also have a 10 to 13. Um, that's going to be the easiest one is the, uh, the Dio Dynamics. Now, if you have a 16 to 18, unfortunately, those headlights do have to be cut open, cracked open, however you, you, your installer does it, and maybe you're going to do it yourself. I prefer the oven method just so I can get that glue off. Um, uh, it just depends on who's doing it. Um, the 16 to 18 headlights are dawn, quite yeah. a pain to, to, to open up, but if you had a 10 to 13, I'm going to say the easiest one is going to be probably Dio Dynamics because they have their chip that just basically replaces the factory one that's there. Yeah. And it also the cool thing about it, the cool thing about their setup is that they have the RGBWA. Well, the RGBWA is basically the red, green, and blue, the white, and the amber. So you got that white setup. It's going to go back to a true white, which is similar to the factory one, which looks cool. You know, so if you're wanting to keep that factory, factory look, you can go that route or you can go, you know, another route. I mean, that's really kind of the only one that's going to go right back into the factory location. They're a great company. Models. They are. They really are. They actually want to innovate are. and make things easier and better. So uh, Dio Dynamics yeah. is a plug for you guys. Yeah. yeah definitely. Um, just real quick, guys. Um, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us again. Um, yeah, we're yeah. going to go ahead and, and, and tie it up here at this point, mm -hmm. but I just want to let you know, today is January 2nd, 2020. Yep. BMR is, this is the last, last day, day till midnight tonight, guys. They're offering 15% off of about 90% of their Camaro products. The other 10% would be like 15 inch conversions. They're not doing anything on that. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But, it, it, it really kind of comes down to the kits that they, they collect from other manufacturers. Yeah, so, you but know, if you're, if you're looking kits. for springs, if you're looking for sway tow bars, rods, sway bars, bushings, bushings uh, um, trailing arms, all that stuff. goes on and on. It's on sale 15% off. You're not going to get a deal like this on BMR for a while. So no, 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 go to the website. We'll, dro we'll throw a link in here as well. So uh -huh. that way you guys can uh, look it up. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's I it, man. That's it. I think we're good. Again, stick around for 2020 because we're going to bring a lot more to you guys. Like I said, all these notes. They're going to go places. And if I forgot somebody, David, Happy New Year, buddy. We know we see you a lot. Thanks, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, and again, we're out. We're out. We'll see happy you guys. New Year, guys. <laughs>